Hi everyone, this is Ben Sullins. Today, I'm gonna to walk you through making beautiful charts using Google Docs as a source for Tableau. We all know that Excel runs the world. However, Google Docs is gaining steam in that it allows people to offer online collaboration on spreadsheets, and it also is free, so that's a good bonus as well. Um, the first thing I wanna do is show you just how to manually do this. It's pretty straightforward. What I have here is I have a, a Google Drive, and in here I have my sales goals. I can open that up. I can download this as a CSV. I'm gonna say save the file. Once it's downloaded there, I can go open Tableau. I'm also gonna open my downloads folder, and I'm actually just going to drag this on there. So when I drag a CSV file directly onto Tableau, it creates the connection for me. I'll connect live for now. And you can see here I have data. So that's the manual way. But we all know that you're better than that. And in fact, you're probably not watching this unless you're really interested in the cool thing, which is how to automatically have this data be downloaded so you can update your Tableau workbooks on an automated basis based on whatever changes you make online. So let's take a look at that method next. So to get started, we need to set up Python on our Tableau server. I've already done this, but if you haven't before, it's pretty straightforward. You download this Python installer, and then you run this easy setup tools here. Um, both of these are pretty straightforward. It's a, one is an MSI installer. You just basically click next all the way through. And then the easy setup is something I'll show you similarly how to do that with the other APIs we need to set up here. Uh, but that's just a couple command line options you need to run. So here we go with the sync. So I found this really awesome Python API called gspread. I'm gonna click on that. It's this GitHub repo. I'm gonna download this as a zip file. I'll just save it. I'll go ahead and unzip this. And I'm just gonna copy this to python27 lib. That's generally where you put libraries like this. You can see here's a bit.ly API one that I've also done a tutorial on. Okay, so once we've got that, it looks like the library is now in Python. We do need to install it, and to do that, we need to run this setup.py. So let me show you how to do that. From the command line, I'm gonna to navigate to this folder. From here, I'm going to say python setup.py install. And it's done. So now that that's been installed, I'm going to go back to my blog, look at the next step. It's to download the code that I have on GitHub here, which is my sync that downloads this stuff for you. Download the zip file. I'm going to extract this. I'm actually going to copy this to my C drive and just leave it there for now. You can put it anywhere you'd like. Uh, it might be good to have a tasks folder or somewhere else where you keep these kind of uh, scripts. Uh, but just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to leave it here in the C drive. In here, I have a config file. I have the Python script that actually downloads the stuff. I have a sample batch file, which you can use to automate this. And I even have a schedule task that you can import to uh, automatically run it on a schedule. So the first thing to do is to open up my config file. I'm going to edit this with Notepad++. I'm going to enter my username and password here. So this is your username and password that has access to your, your data in Google Drive. So here it's ben at bensolens.com. And my password... is simply one, two, three, four. Okay, I'll save that. Now I'm gonna go edit my list of docs to download. So I'm gonna edit my download spreadsheet.py. And in here, it's gonna pull in the config username and password. And what else I need to do is I need to list all the documents I wanted to download. And that library we have that gspread api actually is great because you can actually just give it the name of the document you don't have to give it an id or a key or any of that nonsense 
you just give it the name. So here I'm going to download this sales-goals. So I'm just going to type that in, sales-goals. And for the second one, I'm actually just going to delete this. Okay, so I have my list of docs. I have my username and password configured. I'm ready to give this a shot here. I'm going to save this. And I'm going to go open it in idle. Idle is the Python GUI, the Python shell that comes with uh, the install there. So I'm going to go open. Find my download spreadsheet. Open this guy. You can see here's the code. So when it runs, it's going to go get this. It's going to save it to a CSV and into the directory where I'm running it. So that's important. Feel free to change that if you'd like. You also can set up a config for it to save it in a different directory, whatever you'd like. So I'm just going to go to run, run module. And there it goes. So I'm going to go check my folder now sales goals. Now notice it added this worksheet zero. Uh, that's because uh, Google Doc can have many worksheets and this script will iterate through them and download them all as separate files. So when I open this, you can see I have my data here. All looks good. Great. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to go back over to Tableau. I'm going to close this connection here. I'm going to do the same thing I did before. I'm going to drag my CSV onto Tableau. I'm going to hit OK to import it. I'm actually going to set up an extract. I'm doing this because it's good that if you were to run this on your Tableau server, uh, I would recommend publishing this as a shared data source and scheduling the extract. That way, many users can leverage it and they don't have to have access to that local directory or any of that. For now, just to get the ball rolling here, I'm also going to connect to my Superstore sales data, which the goals were based on. And I'm going to blend some data. So it looks like here I have region, category, and month. Instead of month, I'm going to call this order date. And I know that's incorrect, but for blending purposes, it definitely helps. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to throw on region. I'm going to drag order date on and I'm going to right click drag and make this quarter. I'm also going to filter. I just want the most recent year. Okay. I'm going to drag sales on to text. And I'm going to go here and notice all of these things are, are already linked. I'm going to drag sales goal on right on top of this guy. And you can see my sales goals there. So you have the actual sales, the sales goals, and it's doing blending perfectly. Now, if I were to go update this, let's say that in Q4, one of these need to change, I could go update that and then have my automated refresh download this data again, update it on Tableau server, and now it would be published out to all my users. Let me show you the last piece here, which is how to do that last step, which is automating the download of this data. In my GitHub repository, I have a batch file here. If I edit this in Notepad++, you can see what it does is it tries to call this download spreadsheet.py, and it's looking for it in this specific place, which isn't exactly where it is. So I'm actually just going to update this here. Okay, so I have my batch file updated, so it'll be able to call the correct file now. And I'm going to open my task scheduler. And I'm doing this on desktop, but it's the same on, on uh, Windows Server. Here I'm going to say import task. I'm going to go navigate to the GitHub repo where I downloaded this stuff. I have this XML file here. I'll open that. All looks good. The trigger, this one runs every five minutes. So you can adjust that however you like. And it's designed to run it out of this C tasks folder. I'm actually just going to browse. There you go and make sure that that's correct.
So wherever you download that, you'll need to update that. It also is expecting the user that created it as something that doesn't exist. So I'm just going to log in here. All right, and there we go. So now I have my scheduled task which calls the batch file and then that batch file will automatically go download the data. Uh, from there the thing I haven't shown you is how to publish this to Tableau server. Uh, you should be familiar with that but if you're looking for this or anything else on, on how to do all this magic with Tableau feel free to check out uh, my training courses. Uh, you can find them on my site by going to bensollins.com slash training or looking for me on Pluralsight where I'm continuing to publish many, many courses on Tableau and data analysis and data visualization. Thank you for your time.